<laughs> oh, friggin' knows. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, let's go get the consumables, and then we just made 5k. Give me a sweet little paycheck. And we will be... Ooh, almost to level 8. How things been for me? Things have been great. We've been just scooting right along, playing through some games. We're putting all of our playthroughs up on YouTube now. So I think the last time you were here, we were on Oxygen Not Included. We've gone through that and Valheim and Rimworld. We did KCD for a little bit, but those aren't going to be 100% live until I'm done with the whole game. We jumped out of there because that was um, that wasn't doing well for us overall. But now we're over here in Silver and we're making the best of it. being in here well we started streaming every day starting april 1st so currently we're at 53 days in a row and i'm trying to do 250 hours a month last month we did 283 this month we're on track to do like 267 or so i might eke out an extra hour here and there somewhere and try to get it to closer to 280 that way at least we can match last month's numbers last month was only 30 days this month is 31. I feel like I'm behind a little bit. Oh, I should do this. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention to my transfer case. But yeah, all that's going up on YouTube. We're putting about two to four hours of content up on YouTube per day during the week. just old old gameplays that way people can have a playthrough of the entire game you can watch it from beginning to end at your leisure bookmark a video and you can come over here and ask questions about it too i don't i don't mind i'm not gonna be like that was two weeks ago how dare you how dare you ask questions relevant to games we played now, if it was like a year ago, I'm not going to remember anything about it. <laughs> okay, remember that game you played last June? What did you do when you talked to that third person? I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, I forgot what I told them. <laughs> Duh. I turned into a bird and flew away. Exactly what I did. I can't tell anyone else. I should be on. This side doesn't feel right. I hope we're okay. I hate this path. I hate water. Do it. Let's do it. Make it across. Make it across. Do it for me. He's like, screw you. <laughs> I ain't doing shit for you. All right, Preacher's house. Where's his house at? His house is over there. Actually, pretty happy. Welcome in, buddy. You made it. Hey, look, Ma, I made it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. How are you, sir? How's your day coming along? We're stuck. <laughs> There's my consumables from the other day. 
guess we can connect there and turn. Oh, gonna force us around, but don't tip over. That's gonna do something. Oh, please don't tip over. Please don't tip over. Come on, just go straight. Just go straight. Wait, what was that? Uh, that one's okay, I suppose. Nope, it's gonna tip over again. Don't do that. Uh... Thing over there for me to grab onto, huh? Crap. Crap. We are driving forward. We're driving forward a little bit. Alright, this is fine. He's shortening your name, actually, pretty happy to APH. Tiger Fang, have fun, dude. It was good to see you. I'm glad things are working out for you, man. Have a great rest of your night. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't fall. Don't fall, I said no! Crap. All right. Good thing you're just down the road from him. It's okay. We're we're literally right next to where this truck is. <laughs> vroom vroom! Look at us. Wee woo wee woo wee <laughs> TJ's like. Order, please. They've been running rampant in your absence, TJ. <laughs> They're like, TJ's gone. We can have fun. What are my hard mode rules? What do you mean? It's built into the game, geek. Game has hard mode now. So I'm playing hard mode. Those are my hard mode rules. And I'm, I'm, I'm also not recovering, but yeah, the game has hard mode in it now. It has, TJ. It's been a while since you played, yep. So, so the hard mode is repairing cost money, gas cost money, um, Everything, everything costs money. You can't sell trailers. Vehicles only sell for half price. Uh, there's all kinds of crap. It's crazy. But then, j just like, just like Niku right there just put up, I've got a crowd control going too that you guys can do. Where you guys can make me suffer even more. But you guys have so far. Okay, so I want to put a winch here to there. Telephone pole. Yeah. And then get us out here this way. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so pack the cargo. Let's go! Excuse me, truck. Maybe you go this way, thanks. Yeah, so that's what we're doing, Geek. It's uh, pretty crazy. It, it makes progression slower than it should be. Because every time you repair... And the, re and the repair costs aren't, like, per item. Like, right now, I've got a little bit of suspension damage. Regardless of how much damage I have, it's a flat rate per vehicle. So you kind of want to run the vehicle ragged before you have to repair it. This truck right here is $2,500 to repair. You can get a repair trailer, but in order for you to refill the trailer, you have to pay money to refill that. So, 
gas is the same way, uh, but you can, so, um, yeah, gas you can use at gas stations or if you have a tank. Like I got a, I got a, um, a trailer over here, so I'm, I've been, I've been hitting, hitting gas off of that every so often to refuel. That way I can save a little bit of money. But gas in, gas in gallons is eight dollars a gallon. <coughs> so to fill this car, fill this truck completely up, it's five hundred and twelve dollars. A lot of money. I'm playing in hard mode, uh, Kimaraz. That would, I wouldn't necessarily say hardcore. No, no, it's not flat. It's by the gallon for that. Um, hard, the game has hard mode, and then I'm adding the fact that I, that I can't recover unless I have absolutely nothing left. Which I haven't had to recover yet. I did accidentally recover. So the refuel button and the recover button are right next to each other, and I went to go refuel my truck and accidentally recovered it. So that set me back two grand for absolutely no reason at all, uh, which really sucks. So I, I should have two thousand more dollars, but I don't. Oh no, you're good. You're good. So what you're telling me is you're in the UK, huh? How's that coming along for you? I'm kidding. Thank you for being here and hanging out. Okay, Preacher's House is over here. We gotta deliver these goods. You're in Sweden? Five, six, seven. Oh! I keep thinking, I keep getting that confused. When it's when, when it's seven o'clock here, five hours is midnight, I keep thinking that's two for some reason. That's me being dumb, don't listen to me. Damn, 20 grand! We got 20 grand! <laughs> uh, Sally, I think it's for anything. I don't think it's only PC. It should be. It should be everywhere. I don't know that the answer to that question though. Deliver to the fisherman's house. Okay, so now I got to get that. You, I don't want to go for that right now. I mean, you can if you want to, TJ. It's up to you. There you go. I can't move for a minute in the game. Thank you, TJ. How do I like my chair? It's okay. Sally, it's when you begin a new game. It's an option as soon as you hit start. But it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it works. Works for what I need it for, and that's all that matters. All right, TG, I'm starting early. Sorry. <laughs> How you doing, P2R? Welcome back in, my friend. Thanks for coming back in and hanging out. All right, what are we doing? More fuel. More fuel. Delivered to the forester's house. Fuel times two. Okay. We got some of that right over here. Truck am I using? Fleet Star. The International Fleet Star. Oh, I haven't been over there yet. Oh. I gotta go past the log station. I know where that's at. Let's go. How you doing, DSM? Welcome back, buddy. Hey, this is the International Fleet Star. Payoffs any better? Nope. <laughs> Payoffs are the same, geek. That's what makes it hard. 
If the payouts were better, then it wouldn't be difficult. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oof, indeed. <clears throat> so yeah, that's always fun to think about. It punishes you for slipping up. That's why I got the crowd control. I've already read chat a few times and ran ran a vehicle into a telephone pole, Geek Nation. Or or ran a vehicle off the road and had to go rescue it. Quite a few times. Good luck. How you doing, DCM? Welcome in. Can I give you some tips? Uh, explore. Use your scout vehicles. Go touch every tower on the map. Here, I'll show you. Go to these towers here. They find upgrades. Go grab all the upgrades on the map. That's my tip to you. The upgrades are free and they make your vehicles so much better. <laughs> this is the International Fleet Star. I've got four or five upgrades on it. It's better than it, than it, than it is when it, when you're first starting out. It's crazy how much better it is. Yeah, towers are always the first thing to do. I didn't do them all in here yet because I kept losing my scouts. So I'm trying not to lose all my scouts currently. I'm trying to. So geek, what, here's my advice to you if you do hard mode. I, um, anything, so $10,000 is my buffer. Anything over $10,000 is how much money I have. So if I have twelve grand in my pocket, I actually have two. So have a $10,000 buffer and then spend money after that. That'll save you. Because if you accidentally total a truck or, or lose a scout, all of a sudden you got to pay thousands of dollars in repairs. If you if you save up fourteen thousand and spend fourteen thousand on something and then you fall apart, you're screwed. There's no coming back from it. So the ten thousand dollar buffer is probably, I would say, a requirement almost. Because the repair on this truck is twenty five hundred, the repair on the Scouts is fifteen, flat rate. So. Oh, taint. I don't care, buddy. Welcome in. How are you? I hate the rain so much. The rain sucks. The rain sucks so much. It makes things very difficult. Okay, we're good. Since when you're playing in hard mode? What do you mean? I started playing in hard mode two days ago. Well, yeah, exactly. Make, make use of all of your trailers that you find, of course. But, don't break your vehicles, forehead. <laughs> don't break your vehicles. Main truck tipped over, installed, sent another truck. That one tipped over, sent a scout. That one didn't do anything. I took your advice, having extra money to save me. Yep. I had 4K left after recovering a truck and didn't let me finish the mission I was doing. Yep. Nuclear, that's, that's probably my biggest tip in hard mode is just have money. Have a cushion. Don't spend everything. Now you're just talking crazy. Hey, you know what? Sometimes it takes somebody talking crazy to get some sense into you guys. All y'all just slopping around, breaking all your vehicles. How dare you? All right, delivering fuel. This is another mission. 
Our goal today is to get level 10. I don't think we're going to get to level 10, but I'd be happy to get level 8. That way we could put mud tires on this truck. And mud tires on this truck would probably make this the most threatening vehicle I have in the entire fleet. Right now we still got the regular slicks on it, which is why it's having such a hard time with the mud. I think once we get mud tires on this, it's just going to be automatic. Well, I, I like the markers, nuclear drifting. And I think the money gain is fine. Um, I don't know. I think this is pretty hard for hard mode nuclear. You got to think about the player base. There's a large casual player base. This is very difficult for a lot of people. I'm sure somewhere down the line is going to be a mod that makes it as hard as you wanted to make it, but I think this is plenty hard. Just like hard mode in Kerbal. Hard mode in Kerbal is very difficult if you're not used to playing. I can compare it with that because you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, for, for the casual player, that kind of stuff will you know, wreck you completely. Because there, there are combinations in this game. You can do something in hard mode in, in playing this to where you render your entire save useless. And you can't do anything. If you recover one too many times or if you break your vehicle too much, you're not going to make a profit doing any of the missions. Now, I was supposed to go through this, so i got to go around. Well, yeah, but I mean, the normal mode experience is like blatantly abused buy a trailer, refuel, sell the trailer. Buy a vehicle, use it to save your other one, sell the vehicle, you know? There's a, there's a lot of things you can abuse in normal mode that you can't get away with in hard mode. And I think that's the biggest culture shock to people going from one mode to the other. Like all oh, the goofy stuff I used to do, I can't do it. Because that was the first thing I did, believe it or not. I, I bought a trailer first thing. And I was like, all right, let's see how the trailers work. And I bought the little fuel trailer. And I was like, oh, this doesn't work like it does in normal mode. <laughs> I'll get to turn on this. The tree right in front of me. Van Stren! What's up? Welcome in. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate it. So, if you want to, Van Strand, this is uh, free on Xbox Game Pass. You don't have to own a game, uh, an Xbox, but if you have, if you can download the Xbox app on your PC, you can play this game for free if you want to try it out. Nuclear drifting. Vehicles sell for half price and you cannot sell trailers. You can only destroy them. So no, it doesn't work like normal at all. I want that one right there. Van Strand, hope you're well, bud. Thanks for coming in on a Sunday. place sucked as bad as it did. How do you get that boar truck? What boar truck? How you doing, Kanga Beast? I don't know what truck you're talking about, buddy. That boar truck. That's all. G. Has anyone else here seen it? Oh. Look at those mushrooms. Those are cool. Is it a vehicle called the Boar? I'm I'm lost here.
Mazacris. That you can't do that, buddy. Look it up. No, I'm good. I'm just busy flipping over my vehicles. Oh, uh, one second. I can save this. Everything's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. See? Everything's fine. Except now we're going this way. Uh. Let's see. Can I go over there with it? I can't. Hello? There we go. Nice. Alright, let me... Hi, Tiger Fang. Welcome back in, bud. Let me do that. And then we're going again. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> uh, let's attach this over to there. Make sure we got ourselves covered on that side. It looks like we do. All right, great. Didn't know this guy's house was out in the middle of BFE. Sparky snail, everything is just fine, my friend. Did I just go around my elbow to get to my ass? No, we're fine. Where's this guy's house at? Oh, it's right here. Okay, okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. <clears throat> How is this happening here? I gotta be careful. I'm gonna lean that way. So I need to make sure that we've got the winch attached. There. It's okay, everything's under control. I just don't want to flip over. And then as we go up and up, up, up. Okay, so now I gotta change where we're going, how we're going. Everything's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. This is fine. Oh, hey, a trailer with wooden planks on it. Sweet. I need that. <clears throat> I don't know how we're going to get it back, but I need that. Fuel! Beautiful. Level 8. Nice. Who needs this much fuel? This guy, apparently. <laughs> New trailer discovered. I want it. Wait, that's not... What is that? That's not wood. You are... Vehicle spare parts. Lame. Do I have anything that requires that? Hungry workers. Consumables. Wait. Consumables. To the drilling site. Oh, it's over there. Okay. And then, uh... That's all? Okay. So I'm going to grab these and take them, but I don't know where I'm taking them to. 